ಅಸ್ತಿಸ್ಯಂ ದಿಶಿ ದೇವತಾತ್ಮ ಹಿಮಾಲಯೋ ನಾಮ ನಗಾಧಿರಾಜ ಪೂರ್ವಾಪರವು ತೋಯ ನಿಧಿ ವಗಾಹ್ಯ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಪೃಥಿವ್ಯ ಇವ ಮಾನದಂಡ we stopped with this uh, 43rd no no we didn't do 43rd only 42nd i think yeah chandrangata padmaguna anna bhunte padmashrita chandram chandramasin abhikyam umamukham tu pratipadya pratipadya lola dvisamshrayam preeti mavapa lakshmi so uh, after describing her body he just comes to her uh, face uh, uh, and he says see upamana when we look at upamana dravyam there is chandra or there is a, a lotus both do not have the beauty if if uh, if lakshmi goes to the moon and she finds that the, the qualities of the lotus is absent and when she goes to the lotus the qualities of the moon are absent so now now when she comes to uma mukham pratipadya lolasa she has Uh, become firmly established in uh, the face of uma now she does not have to keep going here and there uh, in her usual character of being fickle right the next one is uh, her smitam devi's uh, smitam pushpam pravalopahitam yadi syat mukta phalam va sphuta vidrumastham tatah anukuryat vishadasya tasyaha tamrosth ಪರ್ಯಸ್ತಾಂಗ್ the lips are red in color and smile in kavi samaya is white okay so uh, when trying to find a proper upamanam to describe that beauty see you if you take out just the smile then it is white whatever you want to explain you can explain if you just look at the lips then you'll have to look for red things uh, to compare with the lips but then the the beauty of that is the smile is on those lovely red lips right so that combination he wants to catch and describe somehow so pushpam pravala upahitam yadi syat shweta pushpam i can find a beautiful white uh, uh, flower but then that white flower should be resting on very tender leaves usually when there is a flower you don't have tender sprouts coming out the sprouts the first leaves come out first and then you have the flower when after the leaves become really big and well matured but he wants to say that it is only the pravala which can compare to the lips if it is a mature leaf then it is totally green in color it doesn't have that shade of reddishness in it so if there was a white flower placed which which was placed upahitam on a pravala on a very tender leaf yadisyat sambhavana atra but it's not utpreksha it's uh, because he is uh, taking taking the help of sambhavana and comparing it okay and then saying exaggerating actually it is so sambha because you are not going to have a pushpam on a pravala but he is saying yadisyat if it were to happen ಮುಕ್ತಾಫಲಂ ಸ್ಫುಟ ಸ್ಫುಟ ವಿದ್ರುಮಸ್ಥಂ ಯದಿ ಸ್ಯಾತ್ ಅಥವಾ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಲ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಟು ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ ಅ ಕೋರಲ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಜ್ಯೂಲ್ರಿ ರೈಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಸಮ್ ಜ್ಯೂಲ್ರಿ ವಿತ್ ಕೋರಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಲ್ ಆನ್ ಟಾಪ್ ಈವನ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪರ್ಲ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ಕೋರಲ್ ಬೋತ್ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಟಕ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಬಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಯು ನೋ ಪೋಯಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ and even in nature you don't find that pearl is present inside an oyster and corals are found in the form of reefs separately the both cannot exist together but he wants to find that mukta phalam so mukta phalam is compared to her smile and sphuta vidrumam clear coral is her lips so sphuta vidrumastham mukta phalam yadisyat 
यदि मुक्ताफल स्फुट विद्रुमे विद्यते लोके वेरी क्लियर very uh, 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 you can say yeah clear i can say only clear vishada is uh, maybe he translates it as white no i think he only translates it as clear vishadasya atyanta dhavalasya ha atyanta dhavalasya smitasya it's very white and pure actually so tamra oshta paryasta ruchaha tamra oshta her uh, rosy lips and paryastam it is playing Uh, and uh, it is uh, mm, uh, i think the luster of the 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 beauty ruk the smitam has the ruch kanti smitasya kanti hi tamroshte paryasta vidyate i think that's how you'll have to take this okay uh, there is my this is my tool hmm. So you look at the Vyakhyanam a little bit. So he gives a lot of uh, small, small ideas here, very beautifully. Mukha gata, mukha gata ane avayavan varneshyan ne adav mandasmitam varneyati. By dis- describing the uh, parts of the face, he starts with the mandasmitam. Pushpam pravalo pahitam mukta phalam smuta vidrumam smuta vidrumasthamba syati yadi tataha tasyaha smitasya anukuryat then. we can try to compare that so pushpam arthat dhavala pushpam iti we have to swikarani it's not mentioned that it is dhavala pushpam we take it as white because in kavi samaya the smitam is white pravala upahitam pravale rakta pallave upahitam nyastam if it has been placed on tender leaves mukta phalam mauktikam sphuta vidrumastham sphute spashta kantau bhadratare ityartha uh, spashta kantau Uh, where the the coral see sometimes it is uh, i think the word in english is translucent you know the pinkish color that is there in that coral it is not uh, something that is just been painted on there is a translucency to it you know you can see a whitish and pinkish color mix there so that is the sputa kanti vidrume rakta ratna visheshe tishthati yadi muktapalam vidrume Uh, 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 on a coral pravale if sorry not pravale what is the word for uh, coral hmm. pravalam only pravalam no yeah i'm, I'm like i'm confused actually anjali super mafia pravalam i thought was coral actually the first pravalam pushpam hmm. pravalo no, no, no. there it is only tender leaves i think there is the pravalam is pravalam is tender leaves only because it comes in uh, in in uh, banas uh, kadambari hmm. read it pravala hmm. avaratna we have coral pravala hmm. but no pavalam pavalam is uh, coral so we get confused with pravala as coral ha uh, pravala is coral only right ha rendu artham undu illaya aunty yeah there, there are two meanings yes <laughs> yeah, yeah that's <laughs> the, the, the problem is vidruma also means shoot that is also sprout ah vidruma also means tender leaves i think he just cleverly uses those two words i don't know how to say that maybe yeah, because the coral looks like the tender leaves sometimes uh, ironically yes. vidruma also has both the meanings yes sir huh. just both yeah. the meanings even vidruma if you took the word it's got drumatvam in it ah uh, so vidruma means it is the leaf of a tree it is the tender leaf of a tree or a shoot of a tree ama nava vidruma bimbashri nirkala ya kari dara radanachada ha correct nava vidruma bimbashri so nava vidruma like a new coral bimba athava nava pallava vidruma there means pallava bimba is like a bimba fruit nava vidruma bimbashri nyakari radanachada her lips are much better than these two when you compare 
Hmm? Uh, it says a coral tree bearing reddish uh, precious gems called corals. Coral tree, okay. Coral tree, yeah. Mm. Okay. That's one of our So thing. I think that's why they say both the uh, leaves are also pravalam and uh, vidruma. Uh, for vidruma, I get pravala as the meaning. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Very confusing here. Mm. Mm. I think the idea that uh, Kalidasa wants to tell us is just that whether you use tender leaves or whether it is vidruma. It doesn't matter. You cannot find an upama there. It cannot na anukuryat. Or it, if you could find a, a, a flower on a leaf and if you could find a pearl on a coral, then I can compare. No, like that uh, uh, in um, Subramanya Bujangam also you have. no. If, if ye, ye sada, sada purna bimbaha hinaha um, no. No, if there are uh, yeah. six. Ah, uh, Kalankash Chahina, uh, correct. Yeah. Sada Sharada Shan Murgankaha. Yadisu. Sada Sharada Shan Murgankaha Yadisu. See, it should be the autumnal moon, and there should be Kalankais Chahina, huh? Sada Purna Bimbaha. Purna Bimbas to Ek, you know, in 15 days, no, in 30 days, you'll have only one Purnima. Parantu Sada Yadi Purna Bimbaha, see who? Tarahi, then I can say that they compare, they are like uh, the faces of Subramanya. Mm. No? This is very similar in that idea. Vashabdaha atra vikalpe syat iti sambhavanayam ling. I think the va here, mukta phalam va yadi, yadi va, if vikalparthe upayuktaha tatra vashabdaha. Syat Sambhavanayam Yadi Shabdas Tatavidasya Dharminaha Abhavam Sucha Yati Yadi Syati the, the, the moment we say if we could find such a thing, that itself shows that that particular object is absent. It shows the absence of that object. So Tatastarhi Tasyaha Parvatyaha Smitasya Mandaha Sasya Anukuryat Atrapi Sambhavanayam Lingeva. Anukaranam tu navidyate eva. Anukaranasya varta eva nasti. Yadi evam vidyate tarhi. So there is an absence of such an upamanam. Hence there is an absence of anukaranam also. Atrapi. Anukaranam hi tulyataya vartanam iti tulyarthai hi atula upamabhyam tritiya anyatarasya. If you are comparing two objects which can be compared, let's say Hamsi va Krishna te kirti hi swargangama va gahate, then I can say tena tulyam. I can only uh, tena athava tasya tulyam. Both can be used there. Atula upama abhyam api tritiya anyatrasyam. You can even have, when there is an atula upama, that is when you cannot compare. There is an upama, upamanam and an upameyam, but this upamanam cannot be compared to the upameyam at all. Even in that case, you can have Tritiya, which means definitely there is Shashti and Tritiya is the optional thing there. Correct? If I make any mistake in grammar, tell me. Snitam Anukurya Dityartha Pravala Upahita Dhavala Pushpa Rupam Sputa Vidrumastha Muktaphala Rupam Va Upamana Dharmi Dvayam Dharmi, one which has these qualities, sadharana dharmam. We, when we talk about upama, we are looking at sadharana dharma there, between the upamanam and the upameya. Dharmaha yatra vidyate saha dharmi. Evam upamana dharmi dvayam api yadi kutra chitu upalabhyeta. If we are able to find an object which has the dharma, such a dharma, then tarhi tayoho anyatarat, one of those two, either the uh, pushpam, Pravala upahitam dhavala pushpa rupam athava vidrumastham muktapala rupam upamanam parvati mandasmitam anukuryat It can follow or it can imitate. Say anukaranam, uh, when we say anukaranam, it is never the reality. When you say natyam is the anukaranam for reality, it is... A little, it can follow the what is there in the real world, 
but it will not be appreciated as such. See, when it is something that is there in the world, we look at it as reality. But when, when we look at it in screen and someone is imitating that scene there, it moves to the state of enjoyment. You look at it and you look for uh, rasa, bhav, you look for vibhava, anubhava, and all those things and start enjoying it. So anukaranam is always an imitation. It is never the real situation. So here too, here anukaranam itself is not possible here, let alone comparison. You understand where I'm going with it? Hmm? Yes. Huh. Yeah, okay. For upamana, there is beda bhava. Otherwise, it's, it, it can't be the same. So yeah. Here, even the upamana is not there. Not possible. Even the hmm. upamanam is not possible. Even a step before that, if you are trying to just imitate it, that itself is not possible here. Hmm. I know there can be a bheda between two objects. And I can say, okay, this is nice. And I can compare it with those two. Nothing of that sort is possible here. Asiddhocha tadrisho upamana dharminau tatascha tatkartrikam anukaranam api asiddhameva. So this upamana dharmi itself is not present. That object itself is not present. So the anukaranam is uh, asiddham. Nanu kim tadrisho ho upamana dharminau ho eva anukarana samarthyam na chandrikadinam iti imam ashankam visheshana dvayena pariharati. So why are we looking for a white flower or a mukta phalam? And why are we looking for a pravalam or a coral? Kim tadrushoho upamana dharminoho eva anukarana samarthyam. Only these dravyas, only these objects, why, why is it that only these objects have the anukarana samarthyam? And not any popular upamana like chandrika for white when we take chandrika shankha there are so many things that you can take but chandrika is something the the moonlight is also white why are we not taking it iti ashankam in order to remove that doubt he gives two visheshanas one is vishada vishada is atyanta dhavalasya chandrika chandrika yaha tu atyanta dhavalyam nasti is going to uh, describe that later and the next one is tamra oshta paryasta ruchaha it is placed on red lips so chandrika dinam tadrisha dhavalye satyapi see chandrika the, that's why i gave the example of uh, you know sadapurna bimbaha kalankaischahinaha even if it is white we still have that uh, you know the next day it is going to go off so it is associated with that oh we can only see the uh, moonlight pure moonlight full moonlight only today but that sort of a thing is not there in uma mukham Hmm? Or in her Mandasmita. So Chandrika Dinam Tadrisha Dhavalye Satyapi. Even if there is that whiteness in Chandrika, Tamra Dravya Upahitatva Abhavat, there is no association with a red uh, object with respect to uh, the moon. Anukarana Samarthyam. Na Anukarana Samarthyam. There is no Anukaranam. It's not possible. Atra Yadi Shabda Balat Asiddhasya Arthasya Kalpanam. Iti uktaha, this is a yadi artha uktaucha kalpanam ityuktaha atishayokti bhedaha alankaraha. Uh, I should have checked which alankara text this is. Mm, because in atishayokti, as far as Kulyananda goes, he doesn't give this uh, uh, sambhavana purvaka atishayokti. Hmm? Malinata's commentary says something else. Ah, he will say Pratipam. La? Pratipa. Ama. Ah, ama. Pratipam Patena, Urnam Shah. I will just check this. And uh, Yadyar Thoktau Chakalpanam. Hmm. Oh, it is there in Kolayana. Oh, it is Kavi Prakasha. Okay. Prastutasya Yadanyatvam Yadi Artha Uktau Chakalpanam. Prastutasya Yadi Anyatvam. Anyatva kalpana. Hmm. I should look at Kavya Prakasha and tell you. An Anyat is there. Prastutasya yada anyatvam. Anyadeva lavanyam. Anyadeva gambhiryam. 
when we are describing the uh, you know gambhiryam of a king then we say oh it is something totally different something to indicate that it is out of the world it is not something that is commonly found among people uh, uh, here then paralaukikam yadi atra suchyate tarhi tatra api atishayukti hi eva there it's a hyperbole they are exaggerated expression there so that is one type the other type is yadi artha ukta ucha kalpanam this yadi artham i think uh, um kolyananda uh, uh, kar apedekshitar takes it as sambhavana utpreksha there is there is uh, in kavya deepika and kavya prakasha he takes it as uh, atishayukti bheda if you say yadi evam syat tarhi evam bhavet there is a sambhavana there but at the same time you are thinking you are trying to describe the upameya as something not found easily in this world and it is a form of exaggerated expression so atishayukti la ah and the idu vande pratipam i think the way he describes pratipam is upamanasya upameya kalpata uh when you turn the upamanam into the upameyam the standard of comparison like say chandram chandra is being treated as an upameya and it is uh, uh, pratipalankara so here what uh, uh, how he describes i think should be this is actually the upamanam pushpam smitasya anukuryat then smitam becomes the upamanam here the smitam is the prakritam the, the smile is what you want to describe that is the upameya whereas when you say it this this pushpam follows the smitam then it becomes the uh, smitam becomes your upamanam and pushpam becomes the upameya kalpanam is that clear i think that's what uh, is there anything else in malinatha he says upamanasya akshepe so akshepe yeah. nama superimposition uh, right ah uh, superimposition okay upamanasya no, no. akshepe na superimposition ah uh, uh, like upameya is uh, imposed on upamana that's what i understood when is it correct adhyahara to sorry adhyahara is uh, uh superimposition akshepa is actually i thought it was more like blame or something or a, or a hinting a hint ah uh, hint okay suchyate suchyate okay it says upamanasya akshepa upameyata kalpanam upamanam atra akshipya you are removing the status of that upamanam and you are making it into the upameyam and no actually this is the standard of comparison you are saying her, that her smitam has no comparison in the world hmm it is it is nindyate iti tiraskaraha kriyate ha that's oh. what ash akshepa i thought was tiraskara was, was oh. blaming oh so, is it okay akshepa <laughs> is sandhi bhagi it's yeah. tiraskara the sandhi hmm. yeah akshepa is uh, tiraskaraha akshepa in dhvani is अलंकार अक्षिप्यते यदि ध्वनिस्थले वह तरी त्र अलंकार ध्वनि सूच्य आक्षेप मीन सजेशन नॉट सूपर इंपोजिशन यू विल हेव अद्याहार आरोप दीज आर दर्ड्स दट यू यूज फॉर सूपर इंपोजिशन He, yeah. he also says atra pushpa pravalayor mukta vidrumayoh cha asam cha asambandhe api sambandho sambandho tyati shakti atishayokti atishayokti sa cha sambhavana iti alankara sarvasvakara so alankara sarvasvakara takes this as an example for atishayokti where asambandhe sambandhokti when two things cannot be joined together but there is a sambandha that is being said mm. and there is a fancy yadi bhavana api tatra vidyate mm-hmm. when you just say uh, sam, uh, asambandhe api sambandha roopah atishayokti that is the first step mm. now he is combining sambhavana also with the asambandhe sambandha roopah 
when two things cannot be connected asambandha yadi dvayoho vastunoho sambandha eva na vidyate tayoho sambandha yadi uchyate tarhi asambandha sthale sambandhasya ukti then that is atishe yukti again it is something exaggerated correct yeah yeah makes sense <clears throat> adhyahara adhyavasana adhyavasana is the alankarika term for adhyahara na adhyaharam na o ilukkiradu nu artham ah okay same ada ah no adhyahara is a avidyamanam padam yatra aakshipyate aakshipyate na na aakshipyate la aakrishyate aakrishyate ah tarhi adhyahara ah right vyakaranam it's very common pushpam and of course palanka for explaining shlokas you need any padam which is not present you just take it from somewhere and put it that's it pravah pushpam pravadopahitam yadi syat mukta phalam va sphuta vidrumastham tatho na kuryat i just wanted to quote one from muka panchashati about her smile shri kamakshi Mukhendu Bhushana Midam, Mandasmitam Tavakam. See, he has devoted some hundred shlokas for Mandasmitam. Uh, here, uh, Kalidasa has just given one shloka. Uh, so, Shri Kamakshi Mukhendu Bhushana Midam. This is like a Bhushanam for your face. Mandasmitam Tavakam. Netra Ananda Karam Tatha. It gives an Ananda. It gives a happiness to the eyes in such a manner that Himakaraha gachetu yatha pigmata. Even the moon seems very sharp when we look at it. Whereas when we look at Amba, the, her uh, Kamakshi's uh, smile, it seems so soft and so uh, it gives bliss to the eyes. Netranandakaram tatha in such a manner that Himakaraha tigmatam yati. Tigmatam tikshnata yati. Shitam devi yatha tatha himajalam santapa mudraspadam. hima jalam even the cold water from himalayas the snow water uh, uh, feels very hot when compared to her smile so it gives so much of uh, coolness to the body shitam devi yatha tatha yatha hima jalam santapa aspadam santapa mudra aspadam shvetam kincha it is a little bit white you know and it is a, it is also got a um a whiteness tatha yatha malinatam dhatte cha mukta mani it's as if uh, pearl uh, seems dirty when you look at her smile uh, it's a beautiful that is complete so, atishyokti right all uh, over yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> fully that's a very clear atishyokti there is no sambhavana tatra yeah uh, <laughs> Go to the next one. Swarena tasyam amrita sruteva sanjalpitayam abhijata vachi api anyapushta pratikula shabda shrotuhu vitantrihi iva tadyamana. Next is her voice that comes out of that mouth. And the first, he describes the smile and then the next words that come out when she starts talking. Tasyam sanjalpitayam satyam satu abhijata vak her uh, vak the the speech that she has the sound that she has is abhijata vak abhijata is uh, um na uh, abhijata the literal meaning is actually one who has been born in a uh, good kula satkule jataya sa abhijata tari satkule jataya ha vak tu ati spashta madhura saukumaryam tu atra lakshanaya uktam no uh, he tells in the vyakhyanam also that abhijata shabdah ayam lakshanaya sukumara artha paryavasai so i'm going to give the meaning of abhijata as only sukumara so she has very soft speech the way she speaks is extremely beautiful so abhijata vachi tasyam sanjalpitayam when she starts to talk yada vaktum sa prarabhate तदा कथम वक्त प्रारभते स्वरेण 
ಸಸ್ಯಾಹ ಸ್ವರ ಅದು ಅಮೃತ ಸುರುತಂ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಫ್ಲೋ ಆಫ್ ನೆಕ್ಟರ್ ವೆನ್ ಶಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಫ್ಲೋ ಆಫ್ ನೆಕ್ಟರ್ ನೌ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಉಪಮಾನ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಸೇ ಅ ಕುಕು ಅವರ ಕೋಯಲ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಅತ್ರ ಅನ್ಯ ಪುಷ್ಟ ಅಪಿ ಶ್ರೋತು ಪ್ರತಿಕೂಲ ಶಬ್ದ ಜಾತ ಲೈಕ್ ಹೌ ದ ಮಂದಸ್ಮಿತ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ದಟ್ ಐ ಸೆಟ್ ನೌ ಶ್ವೇತ ಕಿಂಚ ಯಥ ಮಲಿನತಾ ಧತ್ತೆ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ವೇ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಶೀ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಟಾಕ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ನೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಅಮೃತ ಸ್ಮೃತ ಇವ ಸ್ಮರೇಣ ತಂ ಸಂಜಲ್ಪಿತ ಸತ್ಯ ವೆನ್ ಶೀ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಟಾಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅನ್ಯ ಪುಷ್ಟ ಅನ್ಯ ಪುಷ್ಟ ಇಸ್ ಕೋಯಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಬೈ ಎಕ್ರೋ the kuku goes and lays a, an egg in the crow's nest and that's why she is called anya pushta athava parabhrit ityapi chakuntale vartate parabhrit one who is being nurtured by another person so this koel is usually brought up by the crow so anya pushta esha kokila pratiku shrotu hu one who listens to the koel's words it sounds very harsh pratikula shabdam it's not it's very harsh to the ears of the listener just like tadyamana vitantrihi iva instrument when the four strings or how many ever stringed instrument it is when those strings are not tuned properly vitantri if the they are not tuned very correctly tadyamana is not being played here it is being hit okay now in tamil we have this expression avan adike amrutham adikiraanu whereas when you say mridangam vasikkara vasikkarathu means playing on the instrument not hitting the instrument now they we differentiate with the words so here also he uses that tadyamana vitantri when uh, veena that has been uh, apaswaram apaswaram ama because of that apaswaram it is very harsh to the ears of a listener so anybody even the coils is like that starts to talk he gives the saundarlari shlokam in this my most favorite shlokam that is vachanam varnayati abhijata vachi abhijata shabdah ayam lakshanaya sukumarartha paryavasai tatha cha prayogah abhun navambhoja dalabhijata this uh, expression is there this is a part of a shloka in uh, kavya prakasham uh, just looked it up and kraunch ಕ್ರೌಂಚಾದ್ರಿ ರುದ್ಧಾಮ ದೃಶ ದೃಢೋ ಅಸೌ ಎನ್ ಮಾರ್ಗಣ ಅನರ್ಗಳ ಶಾತಪಾತೆ ಅಭೂತ್ ನವ ಅಂಬೋಜ ದಲ ಅಭಿಜಾತ ಸ ಭಾರ್ಗವ ಸತ್ಯ ಅಪೂರ್ವ ಸರ್ಗ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಿರೋಧಾಲಂಕಾರ ಇನ್ ಕಾವ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ವೇರ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪರಶುರಾಮ ಗೋಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಸ ಭಾರ್ಗವ ಅಪೂರ್ವ ಸರ್ಗ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಯುನೀಕ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಅಪೂರ್ವ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಏಷ ಕಥಂ ಕ್ರೌಂಚ ಅದ್ರೀರ್ ಉದ್ದಾಮ ದೃಶ ದೃಢ ಅಸೌ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ಲಿ ಹಾರ್ಷ್ ದೃಢ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಫರ್ಮ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಕ್ರೌಂಚಾದ್ರಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಬಿಗ್ ಬಿಗ್ ರಾಕ್ಸ್ ಉದ್ದಾಮ ದೃಶತ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಬಿಗ್ ರಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಕ್ರೌಂಚ ಮೌಂಟನ್ ಸೊ ಕ್ರೌಂಚಾದ್ರಿ ರುದ್ದಾಮ ದೃಶ ದೃಢ ಅಸೌ ಕಿಂತು ನವ ಅಂಬೋಜ ದಲ ಅಭಿಜಾತ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಅಭಿಜಾತ to mean sukumar it's very but he is at the same time parashurama is very soft like a nava amboja dala like a new lo, the, the petal of a new lotus hmm? hence we take abhijata the word abhijata as lakshanaya sukumarartha uh, abhijata sukumara vak yasyaha tasyam athava sthana prayatnaadi um, ಪ್ರಯತ್ನಾದಿ ಗುಣ ಯೋಗಾತ್ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ಉತ್ಪನ್ನ ಅವಾಕ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಲಿಟ್ರಲ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋ ಟು ದ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಲಕ್ಷಣಯ ಸುಕುಮಾರ ಪರಂತು ಅತ್ರ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ವಾಚ್ಯಾರ್ಥ ಅಭಿಜಾತ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಯೂಸೇಜ್ ಸರ್ವ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಕುಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ಸ್ she is she talks in a very proper manner enunciating her words really well 
Tadrisha Utpanna Vak, Samyaka Utpanna Vak, Abhijata Vak. So Vachyartopi Atra uh, Ghatateva. Hmm? Katyamana Artha Samarthakam Idam Visheshanam Tasyam Parvatyam. Abhijata Vachi Parvatyam. She naturally has, has a very beautiful, very dignified and uh, uh, soft speech. And when she starts to talk, Kim punaha, uh, uh, if she starts to do a speech there. Huh? So, Piyusham Sravayati Amrita Sruta Amritam Piyusham Sravayati Iti Amrita Sruta Tena Swarena Sanjal Pitayam Satyam when she just starts to talk. It is not when she has finished talking. Generally, when you use Kthaprateya, you use it as Karmani Prayoga. Right? So, Adi Karmani Ktaha Kartaricha. Adi Karmani, Adi Karma, when the, um, uh, the Kriya, when, a, when an action is being done, the first moment that action is being done, that is called Adi Karma. So, Adi Karma, Karmani, Taha, Kta Pratyaya is used in Kartaricha. So, when I say Bhuktaha, I have to say Devadatena Annam Bhuktaha, uh, Annam Bhuktam. Or when I say Prabhuktaha, he has started to eat, I would say Devadattaha Prabhuktaha. Adama Devadatte Prabhukte Sati Maya Evam Kritam. Even in Sati Saptami, that's the Ktapratyaya usage here. Hmm? Sanjalpitayam Samyak Vaktum Upakrantayam. Anena Devi Sanjalpanasya Arambhadashaya Veva Yetavan Prabhavaha Chetu. Kim Punaha Parishila Nadashayam. If just at the beginning of talking, she is able to speak so beautifully and that we forget about everything else and everything else sounds so harsh. And what to say of uh, when she Parishila Nadashayam, I would say when she starts analyzing or she starts talking a lot more. Kathoktam Saundarya Laharyam. Vivansya Gayanti Vividham Apadanam Pashupatehe Pashupatehe Vividham Apadanam Gayanti, Vipansya, Gayanti, Tvayarab Devaktum, Chalitra Sherasa, Sadhu Vachani. So when Saraswati is singing, she has taken her Vipanchi and she is trying to play the instrument and she sings a song which has Pashupatehe, Abhidanam, Apadanam, all his great works that he has done. And it also has his name in it. And uh, Apadanam is generally the his uh, charitram. So Pashuvate Charitram uh, Adhikritya, she starts singing. Vipanchya, Gayanti, Asti, Saraswati. Twaya Rabde Twaya Arabde Vaktum Chalita Shirasa Sadhu Vachane. Twaya. See if you look at this shloka, it says Twaya Vaktum Arabde Sati. Then you use it in Karmani Prayoga. Right? Here, Kartari Cha, you can have both Karmani and Kartari. So, Twaya Vaktum Arabde Katham Chalita Shirasa. She's just saying Sadhu Vachanam Balai. That's all she's saying. Sabash. You know, when you, you, are, you are appreciative of the words, you are appreciative of the uh, music. She says Twaya when uh, Uma Lalita, she starts to appreciate the music and with, the, with shaking her head and saying Sadhu, Sadhu. Iti. Vachane Sati, Tadiyair Madhuryehi, Sadhu Vachanasya Madhuryehi, Apa Lapita Tantri Kalarava, Apa Hasita Tantri Kalarava. Here he gives a different reading. Apa Lapitam, Apa Hasitam, Bhayapi Sadhu. Okay. So, Upa Hasita Tantri, Apa Hasita Tantri Kalarava. The, uh, her music, the words that come out of Devi are much more beautiful than the Tantri, than the Veena. Nijam Vinam Vani Nichala Yati Cholena Nibrita. Here Cholena, see people will translate it as, you know, she she took the Veena's cover and closed the Veena. But my professor would say, you know, where would she have time for all that? See, when you're embarrassed, the first thing that you do is, you know, cover yourself or cover the instrument with what you have. So she used her Uttariyam and covered it, it seems. Chola. Here she would take it, he would take it as like a blouse or you know, the top uh, Uttariya. The sari, she, she, sari Pallu. Yeah, the uh, Pallu, yeah, opposite you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, immediately she covered it. Nobody would wait to go and get a cover. 
ध्वनि <laughs> सो श्रोतु श्रोत्र विशेष ब्यूटी ऑफ व्याख्यान सो इफ जस्ट अर् लिजनर जस्ट वाकिंग बै थिंग्स वॉइस इज वेरी कटु वाट टू से पर्सन हू नोज द डीटेल विशेष प्रतिकूल शब्द प्रतिकूल विरुद्ध शब्द तस्पि श्रोतु अभी Uh, in case we didn't understand, <laughs> he gives another upama there. Shastra If it is being hit, not being hit, not played beautifully, विरुद्धरूपेण तत्र तंत्री श्रुति योजना क्रियते सा विरुद्ध तंत्री वितंत्री Hmm? So it wasn't enough for him to just say that Shastra uh, Anabhignyaihi Ahanyamana. He had to say that the instrument was also bad. <laughs> yeah, the, the people, the instrument was bad. The people who were trying to hit it were also, also did bad. not know it. <laughs> <laughs> I think the way he has enjoyed it and he has tried to convey it through the Vyakhyana, you know, that's what I feel is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like reading a different text altogether. <laughs> उत्पाद्यानाद्यानाद्यानाद्य उच्यूनोटिंग in no western terminology and the moon moon talam strings in, the, in the middle of the small finger you will you will hit it mm, yeah so the, they were sympathetic strings when playing on the regular rhythm the sympathy thing they will hit it now and then okay 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 hmm adu vandu talam it keeps the talam and that is being hit even if you argue that you know you have to play on these strings and these you have to hit tarhi taadyamana tatra if that is being Uh, done by people uh, uh, who don't know shastram then they will be hitting it at the wrong time also the the talam will also be gone so uh, the, 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 that's why he says vitantri here hmm apdi eduthukalam okay so devi vachana antarale sanjalpanti kokila api devi vachana antarale sanjalpita so he imagines the scene where you know she is playing in the garden and as she is talking when she is just starts to talk and there is a coil which uh, uh, gives out a sound also so devi vachanasya antarale in the space between when she talks if there is a kokila uh, swaram kokila dhvani there sa api veenayaha samichina vadana velayam akrama taadita veena gunavallihi iva vallari iva shrotra jananam aruntudam eva so when someone is playing and that talam string when you do it in between and it is not in tune with the rest then it will uh, create a jarring sound 
the same way when devi starts to speak and even in the intermediary in the spaces if a kokila dhvani is heard that is like this uh, vitantri mm. see it's almost like uh, parvatyah vaani eva swarah eva madura swarah eva no it's, it's, that is the that is the swaram and anything you say it's not going with that swar ama Um, adu vandu it itself is a music uh, um, by itself the speech mm. and the music ka irukku mm. so inga vandu veena guna vallari appadina ah veena um so veena yaha guna guna vallari na i think vallari ngiradhu vandu i i didn't think that paathurren vallam sambaranam manjari guna அந்த கொத்து வீணைங்கிற ஒரு ஒரு கொத்து இருக்கு இல்லையா குணங் சி வீணா ஹேஸ் அ லாட் ஆஃப் குவாலிட்டிஸ் லைக் அ பஞ்ச் சோ தட் இஸ் வல்லரி ஆ சோ குணா இது இல்லையா த தந்திரி தந்திரி இல்லையா ஓகே த தந்தி தந்தியினுடைய வரிசை ஆ அப்படி எடுத்துக்கணும் கரெக்ட் வீணாயாக குண அந்த தந்திரி தந்திரியா தந்திரி நாம் வல்லரி குச்சஹ tantri nam string atra so so the the string of the the bunch of strings on the veena like that e akrama taadita vallari iva when akrama taadita see when you look at the tandi paakarche kuda onnu onna namba vaashtham nam there is a krama there yes when you play if you just yeah. think of it as a vallari as a bunch and you just randomly do it hmm the akrama taadita veena guna vallari iva or it could be like you said those three strings which are on the on the simple like, talam strings on the mona the vallari adu vandu in the wrong moment la if you do the talam that is also akrama taadita vall guna vallari vallugama aruntuda aruntuda meva is in the aruntudam nale it's like a um, painful stoda na painful is i feel is too big it's more like uruttal avadimo it's an irritation it's an annoyance oh. annoyance okay hmm. see annoyance is something you can't say uh, oh it causes too much of pain nor can you say oh i can ignore it see that annoyance is something which is always present oh uh, what do i do about it you know that yeah. is aruntuda <laughs> shrotra jananam aruntudam eva shabdam utpadayama so it created a sound that was annoying or irritating for people அமிருதுமாரியாதிங் okay virutam is not a dhvani or beautiful sound it's like a crying of kokilam so parabhritasya virutadapi devi sanchalpitasya vyatarekam vyotayati it suggests that uh, uh, the I, i would say the vyatareka alankara dhvani hi asti parantu that is not so uh, beautiful as the vachya it's a gunibhuta vinya very clear பிரதிகூல vyatireka i mean or you're saying something is gauni i didn't i didn't uh-huh. get it ah the dhvani is gauni you know the, uh, what is the charm in saying that uh, uh, you know kokila dhvani hi tadrishi uh, ma, uh, madhura nasti yatha devya ha vak that is something which is just abadi plain or chappuna pona madri irukke but then the way it is described here is more beautiful no ha the kokila dhvani nyakkaroti sonna avla alag illa அப்படின்னு 
by saying that it's pratikula shabda he's hidden the nature of the vatireka yeah exactly so hidden in the sense that vatireka is actually suggested here but that suggestion ah. you can take it as a dhvani shloka only if that suggestion was more beautiful than the vachartha aha uh-huh. which is so true. you call it as gauni okay we call it as gauni not gauni guni bhuta vyangyam vyangyam yatra guni bhutam bhavati vachyat oh. vachyat na atishete vachyat it is it is lesser in beauty than the vachyartha okay okay so the vachyartha here is more predominant than the vyangya mm, yeah okay okay that's what the i feel as a sahridaya sometimes when you go into the rasa and dhvani the uh, individual perspective matters you know swarena dasyam amrita sruteva sanjalpitayam abhijata vachi apyanya pushta pratikula shabda shrotuhu vitantrihi iva tadyamana so okay we will stop here